Good morning. How are you guys doing? I know I'm a little late today. It's Monday and we haven't done just an alone show for a long time because we'd had sponsors for everything. So I haven't been just like, I haven't been able to do one of these for a while and I kind of enjoy it. I actually kind of like just doing that when it has nothing to do with anything and it's just things I see going on in the world and going on in life <clears throat> and everything. And uh, hey Matt, how are you? Hey Matt, message yes, tomorrow 10, 10 30 is fine. I'll leave a key out. Um, have a meeting with 5th Street Public Market tomorrow at 10, just so you know. Hi, Jerry Moon. How are you? Um, so, um, anyway, so what's going on? You guys, I just found out some really cool news of a, uh, of a new place in Eugene. So, if you're not somebody who likes whiskey, you may not care about this, but I think it's kind of cool. So, there is, hello, John. There is a new whiskey bar coming to Eugene. I'm not kidding you. Um, I just went in this uh, restaurant that's been around for 30 years, and they're tearing the place up. And um, they're going to completely revamp it, and they're putting in a whiskey bar, um, a good old-fashioned whiskey bar with local whiskeys that you can go in and try. Um, and so you want to know where it is? Do you know where it is? Guess. Take a guess. I want you to guess. It's an old establishment in Eugene, and they are revamping, rebranding. They're going to keep their restaurant and bar section, but the restaurant, the actual sit-down restaurant, booth-style restaurant in Eugene, I'm giving you some hints, um, is they, they gutted it. They're in there tearing it up right now. And they're gonna put in a really cool, no, it's not the Wild Duck, but that's a good guess, Teresa. Um, a really cool whiskey bar, local products. Um, one of the whiskeys they're talking about bringing it in, I really love this story, you know me. I, you know, I like the backstory. I love to have the backstory of everything. So these four, this guy, it created a whiskey called Four Spirits. Um, uh, and Four Spirits is uh, basically four p brothers that he had during the war um, that died. And he created this whiskey uh, brand and the name of it is Four Spirits, but it's named after these brothers, not actual blood brothers, but actual um, service brothers. So where do you think it is? You guys, come on, you gotta guess. You guys are not participating. I mean, I don't do this for me. <laughs> So I wanted, it's an old restaurant in town. It's not the electric station. No, it's not the electric station. But Bill, you're, 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 you're right close. Come on, you guys, you're, you're, you're working it. So this is a restaurant that's been in Eugene, a, a staple for 30 years. And they're keeping the bar restaurant side. Um, but then there's a restaurant, there used to be a cafe, like a, a sit down restaurant on the other side. And they're ripping the hell out of it. Not the rock and rodeo, <clears throat> um, not the DAC. Uh, you guys are good though. You're get your. Um, you were in the right neighborhood. Now the DAC, you're not in the right neighborhood. And they're going to put in a whiskey bar. <clears throat> it's Eugene's very first only official whiskey bar. So I was down talking to them because I'm going to be doing some work for them. Uh, and uh, so hey, Patrick, I'm I'm reading your messages on here, and that's why I'm getting kind of. So anyway, if you guys, I'm looking for another guest. Old restaurant, 30 years here. Um, a place where uh, a lot of ducks go, but it's not the wild duck. Somebody already guessed that. Um, not Doc's Pad, keep going. <clears throat> um, not in the wit, no, it's not in the wit. You were closer when you were in the other neighborhood. Uh, and they're putting in a whiskey bar. So that's pretty exciting. I'm just gonna keep waiting for you guys to get on there and figure that out. Guess, uh, tomorrow, guess where we're going? We are going to take you to Springfield High School um, <clears throat> to introduce you to the auto shop. So Patrick Olson Automotive Repair uh, didn't know that they had this auto shop in Springfield. And so I talked to the school district and they have a student in there who's a young woman who's never taken, um, not good times, um, who's never taken auto shop before. She took it and now she's gonna go to college and be an engineer. So. That's a really, uh, can you see this? Yes, I can see this. Uh, Brian, I can see you, uh, your comment. We're looking for where is a restaurant in town that's gutting one section. Nope, it's not the old Japanese place. Come on, you guys. You gotta, it's close to the Holt Center. God, do I have to tell you everything? It's like I'm giving it away here. Um, so tomorrow, Patrick Golson Automotive is supporting a show that we're gonna go over there, introduce him to this class. You guys are gonna see some of the coolest kids. They're doing some really neat things over there in Springfield. So that's tomorrow. And then Wednesday, guess what we're doing? Yes, Jane, you got it. Sixth Street Bar and Grill. The Sixth Street Bar and Grill's tearing out the restaurant and going to put in a whiskey bar. 
and they told me I could tell them. So no, it's the 6th Street Bar and Grill. So you know the section where the restaurant was on the right hand side when you're facing it right there? That's all gonna be whiskey bar. And then the restaurant bar, the, 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 the actual pub bar is gonna stay the same, except they're gonna paint it and do a little work in there. But they're gonna completely revamp it, except it's gonna kinda of go back more to tradition of what they used to be. Beer and burger night, a lot of that kind of stuff. But the cool part is um, they're gonna do this whiskey bar. So Eugene will have its first whiskey bar. What the heck? I've been typing for four minutes now. <laughs> it takes a little while to catch up. It's not my fault. I didn't create this. You know, I, this isn't my deal. So um, anyway, so I'm going to be putting together a proposal for that. But you guys, you didn't guess. Oh, I just lost the end of my pen. God, I hate when that happens. You didn't guess what we're doing on Wednesday. So one of our other sponsors for the show is Katie Howard. She's a realtor in town. Uh, she is the realtor in town. And um, she is one of our clients, and she's sponsoring a show. It's her old Taekwondo. I think it's Taekwondo. I'll find out. Um, she used to take you know, martial arts, you know. And so Sloan, this woman, who was her martial arts teacher, started this obstacle course. And I just got off the phone with her, and so they're going to have us do a show there on Wednesday. And so Katie's going to shoot the video, and I'm going to be doing the obstacle course. Brenda, you should come do it with me. I'd kick your butt. Um, and it's, and it's going to be fun. I mean, it should be really fun. So Tuesday, we're at the auto shop in Springfield at Springfield High School with Patrick Olson Auto Repair. Wednesday, we're with Katie Hallert and Sloan over at this new uh, gym. Uh, it's an obstacle course gym off of Shelly. And I'll tell you more about that when we get there. There is a group on right now that you can buy a deal to go do it. Um, I'm looking on my calendar here. Wednesday, Thursday, we're here at Provisions talking to Mayor Lucy Venice, Eugene's mayor, to tell us more about what's going on. And Friday, I'm still waiting for, Travel Lane County is working some magic, trying to do some things. Here's, my, here's what I want to do. This is what I'm trying to do, but it's like I have to give my left testicle to get this to happen. Um, did I say that? Can I say testicle on TV? I don't know. Well, I think so. It's a technical term, right? I mean, it's testicle, right? I mean, that's what men have, right? Oh God, we've slipped into testicles now. Um, but anyway, the NCAA start on Thursday, and so what I want to do is take you guys in there um, and talk to some folks. And I'm working with a friend of mine who works uh, with Run Gum, with Nick uh, Simmons, the runner, and so he might come with me. But I'm waiting to find out if they can get me in. Um, I, it, it's it's like <laughs> so I've sold both of my children now and promised to rename them NCAA. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's your show. That's right, Diane. It's my show. If I want to say testicle on it, I can. Um, so anyway, that's what we're going to do on, hopefully on Friday, is we'll be out there. And then, you guys, the month, this June is so much fun. Did you know my birthday's in June? I will be 58 at the end of June. And it will be a national holiday. And I will be doing the show, this show, live from Livingston, Montana, where my son lives. I'm going to Livingston at the end of the month and we're gonna take this with us and do some vlogs. Have you guys seen our vlogs we're doing? We're doing some vlogs. You need to be watching them more because I need more hits on them. I mean, I know it's not just about me, but it is. So we did a really cool one on this street singer called Thor. <laughs> he was really funny, but he did some cool, cool songs. In fact, Forrest, you would really like him. And I will link it on here if you guys will look at it and spread it around. I mean, you have to participate in this too. This isn't all my thing. It's not my job. I mean, I'm just here to keep the conversation going. Um, Hi, Connie Feldman, how are you? You didn't eat your crickets. And then you posted that little font, that little thing on there to make me look crazy. Um, you can link your vlogs. Can you link your vlogs? Um, I can, I can put them in the comment section. But they're also on my TV show. But this vlog was really cool. I did a couple of them that you really need to see and I'll go put them on there. I saw Thor, was fun. Isn't he cool? So he sings la da di da 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 di da 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 di da. I knew every song. I was sitting there with this guy I met and for a video and I knew every single song and he was shocked. And this was 70s, 80s. You guys, I am a wealth of information. And when it comes to music, <laughs> next to Forrest, I am, I know music. I mean, Britney Spears, I know Britney Spears. I, I can sing Britney. Hey, my, my, I can get my nose up like that and sing Britney Spears. I got Aerosmith. Oh, 
walking the dog. Do not even get me started because I will put you to shame when it comes to. And Led Zeppelin. Hey, hey, mama, sit the way you move. Gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove. Ba, 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 ba. I mean, they practically call me to help do these shows. I mean, it's what it is. I used to sing at weddings. I was a wedding singer. Don't. Let's go. We should do a show, Brenda, and do karaoke. You wanna? I will do that. Dare me? Because I will do New York, New York like you have never heard it in your life before. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I'm reading you. I want to be a part of it. My favorite Led Zeppelin song, it really is. Gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove. Bow, 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 bow. I want to work that day. Matt, you will come work that day. I will totally do it. We should do a party. Like, we should have a live show at a karaoke bar and just go do it. I will totally do it. I'm not afraid to do karaoke. I, I can sing it. I, I will do anything. Except like girl stuff. I don't want to do girl stuff. I want to do rock and roll and loud music. Um, that's what I do best. Um, the problem is, hi Jennifer, is you guys here, I mean to be really truthful with you, I'm a little afraid to do karaoke because um, I enjoy doing this and if I do karaoke there's a really good chance that I will be discovered. And, and, cause I mean, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> in the music world and um, I'm seeing Britney Spears you know I'll tell you a funny story when my kids I hope my kids aren't on here I, don't, I haven't seen them on here so when my, when my kids were younger and they're in school I'd go to schools and kids would go do you know anybody famous you know and so one time I said well I interviewed Barbara Walters and they went who's that so I started going I, I'd get in these assemblies and I go hey do you guys know um, Britney Spears and they go you know Britney Spears? I go, no, I just asked if you knew her. <laughs> and they'd think that I was doing it. But then I used to go, bye, 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 bye. and I'd do this little, this little Britney Spears thing. And, and my, for, my kids' friends started telling them, your dad does this really horrible like Britney Spears thing. And so my son came home and he goes, dad, don't ever do that in public again. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. I still did it. I didn't listen very well. You have to dress up for the part. For what? What? If Britney, are you drunk? <laughs> Jeff, no, Jeff, I'm not. What? Can I can't have fun? Good Lord. No, I'm not drunk. If I was drunk, it would be worse. <laughs> I just did a couple dabs before I came on the show. High on life, it seems. You know what, Bill? I'll tell you what. I'll be serious with you and I'll get out of this thing because I got work to do. Um, I am a little high. I woke up this morning. And I think sometimes we sell ourselves short. And I, I just, I was sitting there, and I need to, I'll just be really, really honest with you, okay? I mean, I'm not trying to preach at you. I don't care. I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not here to change anybody's position on their faith or whatever. I don't care. My faith is, I felt like I was sitting there reading, and I felt like um, God is telling me that, you know, Rick, what you do is really valuable. And you need to be aware of that, and you need to just go do it and do it without reservation, to do it without holding back, to go and just help people and do the thing that you do best and just go do it. And this is what I do best. And so I'm just gonna go do it. And yesterday I wrote a blog, a really in-depth blog that I was really thinking about a lot. About, you know, it was about, I don't know, for those who didn't see it, it was about my diet. Um, and, and my diet, um, it, it, it goes like this. I, I, I have to limit my diet of what I intake um, of bad shit. Um, and I don't want to listen to media tell me what to think anymore. I don't want to. So I've stopped reading the paper. I don't watch local news. I don't watch national news. I don't even watch 60 Minutes anymore. Um, I do watch Sunday morning um, DVR. But because what I find is, and I don't, I, I, you know, I. And on Facebook, when I go on my home feed, I know the people who rant and bitch and moan, and I just pass by them. Even though it's like a car wreck and I want to look, because I love that conversation, I just can't do it. So I wrote this blog, and hundreds of you, hundreds came on and were like really touched by it. Only one guy had some smart-ass thing to say that I was in, you know, and, and I don't care. 
because I'm done with that. <laughs> you know, I know what I believe and I know what I think. And I don't expect anybody to believe or think what I think and what I believe. Um, but I have to have peace in my life. And if I'm going to go out and do the thing that I do best, which I think is, is this and blogging and vlogging and, and seeing, introducing people to the wonderful things going on in our community and the people that make it so amazing and the fact that we have a whiskey bar. And, uh, and if I'm going to do that, I can't have other shit in my way. And so all this other stuff starts pounding down on me and I got to clean house. I got to clean that up. So I can't have that in my diet anymore. So they can call me uninformed. They can call me somebody who's, you know, who doesn't know this and doesn't know that. I don't care. You know what I do know? I know that if I'm going to make a difference and if the world's going to change, I just have to do my part. They can all do their part and they can all do what they need to do. I got to do my part. And I'm, nobody's going to quiet me. No one's going to silence me. And, um, and I don't expect anybody to follow me. I'm not looking for followers. <laughs> I mean, I'm really not. I'm just looking for people who disagree with me and who agree with me who just want to make sure that things go on. A friend came up to me this morning, an older guy at my gym, and he said, Rick, I went to my first protest on Saturday or Sunday or whatever day it was. And I said, oh, how was that? And he goes, well, it was kind of fun. It was kind of interesting down here at the federal courthouse. And he says, what do you think of that? I said, Keith, I think if that's what you want to do, that's fine. I'm more than happy for you. I said, uh, he goes, did you pay attention? And I go, not anymore. I said, you know, when, when people, when, when that goes on and on, every, every week it's something, I, I, I lose interest um, in it. Doesn't mean I'm not concerned about things, but um, I think for me, not for them, he felt good about it, so that's good. For me, the better approach is to encourage you to go do what you gotta do. That's what I do better. I'm not gonna go stand on the street and hold a sign. Because that's not me. That's not who I think people are going to listen to. Um, I think to get you out, to get me out and helping people, then maybe it encourages you to go out and do the same thing. And maybe it doesn't. But you know what? Sure as hell makes me feel good. <laughs> and I find that's my thing. So if you guys want to go karaoke, let's get a time. Let's figure this out. Um, let's look a few weeks. I mean, we can't do it this week because I'm busy. But let's look a week or so out. And let's find a place, let's find a time, and if you want to do it, um, I will go black dog your Led Zeppelin um, like nobody's right. And Forrest, you can be my backup. I'll be your backup. That would be better. And Brenda, bring it on, girl. Because you know what? I will have you screaming. <laughs> hey, hey, mom, is it the way you move? <laughs> All right. You guys have a good day. I got to go. I got work to do. I've got clients who want to get on the show and I've got things I have to do. Um, it's just the way it is. Um, so anyway, have a great day. Um, you know, I, I'm going to, I'll plug in a couple of these vlogs for you so you guys can come back later and look at it. <laughs> um, but go out there and, and do what you do best today and don't worry about what everybody else says. Um, and, and I'm a nut. <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking about testicles again, Janet. You have to bring it back, don't you? <laughs> you always have to bring it back to testicles. <laughs> All right, if you guys want to share this video on your page, if you dare, because I mentioned, I said shit and testicles, so be careful. Um, because yeah, we've got, you know, we might have audiences where p people don't know what poop and testicles are. <laughs> I love these days when I can do my own thing. When I have clients sponsor them, I have to be careful. Oh, let me mention my clients really fast, just so you know. Patrick Olson Automotive, great guy. If you need car work done, tell him I sent you because it matters. I mean, they want I want people to know who, who's my business partners. Katie Haller, the Haller team, if you're looking for a realtor, somebody who's fair and honest, she's the, she's the best. And Carlos with Brinker's Restoration Contractors. Oh, we have a new one too, Solar Key. Um, a company in town that is uh, making it so you can have your own solar power. Um, you're, you would be off the grid. You could literally put batteries in your home, you could get your own solar power, and you could go off the grid and not have to depend on sub, eWeb, or lane co electric co-op, any of them. You could be your own electrician, electrical generator. So those are all some of our sponsors. We'll have more. I'll talk to you tomorrow from Springfield High School with Patrick Olson. All right, you guys, have a good day. Please spread this around. It helps. Bye.